This is module four, mid-module review, page three. Number four, Pete started to draw a grid inside the rectangle to find its area. Use a straight edge to complete the drawing of the grid. So I'm gonna do A first, and I'm gonna use a straight edge or a ruler. If you don't have a straight edge or a ruler, do your best to use a side of a piece of paper to complete the array. I'm going to draw these lines across since I see that they have already begun. And I'm also going to connect this line together. If I look across the top, I can see that there need to be more columns based on the top row. So I'm going to continue those lines down to fill in the array. If I look at the left side, I see that I need to create one more line based on the number of rows that I have. And there is A completed. Letter B, write both an addition and a multiplication equation that you could use to solve the area, then solve. Let's start with multiplication. I have been working on in class on multiplication and I can use the number of boxes I have going across to tell me the lengths. So going across I have one, two, three, four, five, six squares. So the length of the top is six. If I go down one side I have one, two, three, four, five. So the length of one side is five. I can use 6 and 5 to create a multiplication sentence. 5 times 6 equals, counting by 5, 6 times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5 times 6 is 30, and I'm labeling the area, so I want to do square units. I'm using units because I'm not sure what the measurement is. It does not tell me that idea in the problem. Next, I'm gonna do a addition problem. Now, looking at this picture, it might be difficult to think about what kind of addition problem I can do. But I can see that there are related numbers. For example, in the first row I have six boxes. I also have six boxes in the second row. I also have six boxes in the third row. There are six boxes in the fourth row. And there are six boxes in the fifth row. So that gives me a total of five sixes. I can add those five sixes together to also give me the area. So I'm going to represent that as six plus six plus six plus six plus six, counting by sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, 30. Also giving me 30 square units. Number five, half of the rectangle below has been tiled with square and uh, unit squares. Letter A. How many more unit squares are needed to fill in the rest of the rectangle? I know half of the rectangle is done. So when I look at half, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight squares on one side. I need to know how many more squares I need to fill in the next side. So if I think about the words half, half to me means two. I need to figure out how many more I need on the other side. There are eight on one side. I need more on the other side. What could I add? to the eight to give me my total for my box. Well, 
if I know half is 8, then the other half also has to be 8. And this problem is not ask, asking me to find the total. I need 8 more unit squares. I can also represent that by continuing my lines across and then creating my columns down. And then I have a complete rectangle. Letter B. What is the total area of the large rectangle? Explain how you found the answer. When I look at one side of the rectangle, I see I have two units going down. When I look across the top of the completed rectangle, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight across the entire top. So I can multiply two times eight to find the area in square units. Find the area you're on your own and explain with words how you found that that was the area.